What is going on fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here and in this video we're talking about the best weapons in Red Dead Online. Of course if you're new to my channel and this video helps you make sure you hit that subscribe button and drop the video like but only if it helps you and you enjoy the content as I upload daily three times a day. It's pretty crazy around here. So without further ado let's get into it. So as you guys know in Red Dead Online there is a large variety of different guns from pistols to revolvers the shotguns the rifles much more. Today we'll be showcasing different Here's weapons that you must have in your arsenal and other weapons that are really up to you whether or not you want them and what guns are better than others when it comes to revolvers and the different variants are, that are available to you in Red Dead Redemption 2. So let's open up our catalog and see what we got. Now, I am personally in the upwards of round 34. So if you are not in my level range, it's okay. In this video, we're covering from level zero to level 100 and different guns that you should have in your arsenal depending on your level. So let's start off with revolvers. Now, revolvers is a tricky topic because this comes down to a lot of things, whether or not uh, you enjoy six shooters in the revolver category or you enjoy just pistols, but specifically we're just covering the revolver section. So all these revolvers will only have six shots and the volcanic pistol is a pistol so it's not a revolver now looking at the revolver section you have the cattleman revolver the double action revolver and you also have the showfield revolver now what's great about these revolvers is that they all have something beneficial to them from the cattleman to the double action to the amazing showfield which is my one of my favorite revolvers um each one has a different characteristic whether it's fire rate Every range or damage they all can add something to your arsenal now especially if you are a gunslinger out here in the wild wild west and you are double carrying revolvers you have two weapons you have to be i believe you need to be level 30 for that you can find out if you can get it by going to accessories in the book and then go to uh what is it i believe it's the it's right here it's the horsemanship holster that's when you'll get the second weapon you can carry on you um which then you can have two revolvers or two pistols or one revolver one pistol which honestly is pretty great so i recommend you do it but going back all the way to the revolvers you'll see that the double action has a higher fire rate than the cattleman revolver on top of that, the double action also has a higher fire rate than the Showfield revolver, but it has lower damage and less range. Now, actually, the Showfield has the same range as the double action. It has less accuracy. Now, personally, I really, really like the Showfield revolver because of just the way it looks comparatively to the Cattleman revolver. Now, every single gun in every category is going to come down to what you enjoy the most and your play style. I cannot sit here and tell you that definitively this is the best weapon in the game. An example, let's move on to uh, pistols, let's say. Let's say you have the option between the volcanic pistol, the semi-automatic pistol, and the Mauser pistol. Each of these in their own way is very, very different. You can't compare the Mauser pistol to the volcanic pistol because each in their own is very different on the way they handle and the, the amount of damage they do. The volcanic Whoa, pistol has around way around higher around damage around output, around. but has less damage output on the Mauser pistol. Of course, the fire rate on the Mauser pistol is much higher than the volcanic pistol. So it just comes down to whether or not you like the volcanic pistol more than the Mauser or the semi-auto comparatively. Now, I think when it gets down to the rifles and the shotguns and the repeaters, gets a little bit more tricky i've noticed in red dead online you hardly ever use pistols and revolvers you're either running around with a shotgun or a rifle now one thing you will always need is a solid rifle we're going to cover that after the repeaters but when it comes to these repeaters they're very very special the carbon repeater the lancaster repeater and the Litchfield Repeater are great rifles in their own. Theoretically, with all these guns, there's always three categories for each section. So, someone just That's killed my horse, repeater, by the way, outside. The Carbine Rifle, the Lancaster Repeater, and the Litchfield Repeater are all great repeaters. But theoretically, you start off with the Carbine, you move over to the Lancaster, and then you go for the Litchfield. That's how it's supposed to be done. Now, you don't have to go down this path. The more sure, I've played this game, the less I've personally used a repeater i don't really find myself ever using a repeater in pvp or in hunting situations because nowadays i'm using three weapons the varmint rifle which is an amazing rifle for pvp as well as killing small animals and birds this will be your go-to weapon if you are a heavy pvp user and you enjoy 
free aim headshots. If you're a headshot guy, the varmint rifle is a great option, dependent on who you're going against and what their ability card layout is. If you have someone that is using special abilities, headshots won't instantly kill them, and that's where the varmint rifle really shines in PvP. But if you're hunting birds and small varmints like squirrels, that is an amazing, this is an amazing rifle to use because you'll get the perfect pelts for those animals moving on to the springfield rifle the bolt action rifle and of course the rolling block rifle and the car the carcano rifle these are all very different and similar in their own respects the rolling block rifle and the carcano rifle or carcano rifle are the two sniper rifles in red dead redemption 2 both these are great rifles one is activated at level 50 and one is available i believe at level 20 which is the rolling block rifle if sniping is your thing then pick up the rolling block rifle but it seems that in PvP, the snipe rifle is hardly ever used. And then we have the Springfield rifle and the bolt action rifle. Now, the bolt action rifle is your go-to rifle for hunting. Large game, the bolt action rifle is the go-to. If you're hunting bears, wolves, cougars, panthers, you want this thing. This will get you those perfect pelts you're looking for in Red Dead Online when it comes to hunting. And you will need this the more you progress throughout your Red Dead Online playthrough. Now... When it comes to PvP, I personally enjoy the Varmint Rifle, or the Varmin Rifle, and the Bolt Action Rifle. Really, really, truly enjoy the Bolt Action Rifle, especially when I use my Deadeye. I have great damage output and overall is very, very easy to use. Then we got the shotguns, dudes. And this is where it gets a little tricky because shotguns in their own respect are weird. Now, lately, I've seen a lot of people rolling double sawed off shotguns as primaries when it comes to their pistols. If you guys don't know, you can buy two sawed off shotguns and rock them as your primary pistols. You can just easily put them in your holster and use it like that. The issue is that I don't like to roll sawed off shotguns in my pistol slots. I could, um, that would allow me to have two sawed off shotguns in my, in my holsters, then have uh, two large rifles or a varmint rifle and then uh, a, like a, a main shotgun. So my loadout normally consists of this. Okay, so someone else killed my horse and I had to pay for it, I think, which really sucks. But regardless, as you guys can see, I'm on my horse. I have my bolt action and my primary. And then on my back, I have my varmin rifle. Now, typically, if I'm not running this loadout, I'll run something like this, like a pump shotgun or the repeating shotgun, and then a large shoulder rifle to, I guess, alleviate that problem. And I feel like I'm about to die to this guy over here. Most likely am. Oh no, he just rode by. I could buy the two shotguns. So let's try this out real quick, which I've never done. So we're doing this together right now. So I could roll two of these. I'm gonna buy two of them right now, just because we can. I bought one. Ooh, we just spent $500 in the store. And you always wanna try to get as many components as possible especially when it comes to wraps. Big fan of the wrap. It will save you a lot of money in the long run. Uh, and it just keeps your weapon pretty uh, clean without you having to worry about cleaning it right away. But after purchasing one sawed off shotgun, I'm gonna purchase another sawed off shotgun. So then I have right, two of them so and both of them I'll put wraps on. And dudes, we are blowing through money. Luckily I have some money I, that I can blow through for this video, which is good, good. With the two sawed off shotguns purchased, I now can rock a different loadout. <laughs> Like I mentioned, I can rock one sawed off shotgun in this hand, and in the other hand, I can rock. Uh, dude, that was the weirdest glitch ever. And then I can rock two shotguns like this. I think this is pretty cool. It allows me to free up a, a shotgun slot so that I don't have to have one on my back. But of course, comparatively, the shotgun on my back will be a better shotgun than the two shotguns I have in my holsters especially when it comes to range and effectiveness. I think this shotgun is great for damage output um, and it's just way better range, but it will never compare. Uh, these two will never compare to the to the just range that I get from this shotgun. It just, it's not the same at all, which with the shotgun, you don't really need far range. I, al I also only have four shots total, where in this shotgun, I have six of two extra shots, but with the double barrel shotguns, you never really need more than four. Um, like it's, it's pretty quick. So you literally output like really, really fast damage uh, really quickly. And oh my God, from far away, it looks crazy. Look, look at me shoot this roof. It looks like I'm shooting nuclear missiles out of my freaking shotgun. Okay, I don't even know how it's reaching this far. How is that a thing? Okay, this range is actually ridiculous. It doesn't reach here, but it reaches right there 
That's crazy. Who the hell is shooting at me? That's ridiculous. So, that's cool. Now, I'm gonna call my horse back over, and even though the repeating shotgun is great, the bolt action and the varmint rifle are your go-tos when it comes to what you wanna have equipped. Now, you guys may notice my biggest problem in Red Dead Online, and it's a problem I had in Red Dead Redemption 2, and I'm really, really hoping they add something like this to the game. Uh, did I kill somebody? The one problem I have in Red Dead Online that I had in Red Dead Redemption 2 was the fact that I have too many weapons. One thing you wanna keep in mind when playing Red Dead Online is that you can't store your weapons. If you have too many weapons, you're just gonna have a problem sorting through all the weapons you have in your inventory. And that's something that I've fallen a victim to, that I just have too many weapons in my inventory and sometimes sorting through all of them is actually really annoying and a very tedious, annoying process. So I would be very, very cautious and just aware that when buying weapons, don't buy weapons you're not gonna use. Highly recommend you always keep your guns as oiled and conditioned as possible. As many of you guys know, having uh, your weapons clean will output the most amount of damage and keep them as effective as possible. One thing I've noticed is that I personally fall victim to not properly clean my weapons. You guys can see right here. My varmint rifle just isn't maintained. Like it's gross, it's dirty, but of course I can always clean it with some gun oil. One thing I've noticed in Red Dead Online that I don't think you can do comparative to Red Dead Redemption 2, at least I'm not given the option. I don't think we can clean our weapons at the gunsmith that you could do before. I'm gonna go to customize real quick and see if we can, because I don't think I was given the option to. So let's see, I need to clean my bolt action rifle as an example. Can I clean it here? I can. So that's actually really great. Um, this will save you time in buying gun oil. You can just simply come here and just clean your gun instantly. You don't have to like clean it with the actual gun oil and like with the rag, you just simply bring it here, pay the 150, easily clean it up. And I sadly don't have any wraps on those guns. I think I have one on this one I do. But cleaning, cleaning weapons is, as you guys know, pretty important. I fall victim to not doing it as much as I should. I'm sure my scope, yeah, these are not even clean. They're probably like really gross. I just never really clean them. I think one crazy thing Rockstar could do to make it more like a real life, hey, you should clean your weapons more often. And I don't know how you guys would react to it, but if your weapons could break, that would be crazy. I don't know what their community reaction would be to make sure that your weapons stay clean, but not cleaning your weapons is sort of bad already. So highly recommend you guys always clean your weapons. And it's really simple to do. As you guys can see, I'm just scrolling through the gunsmith customization option and just cleaning them like that. So not a really big deal. When it comes to, uh, oh God, this guy's so annoying, dudes. Dude, why, why do you gotta be so annoying? Like these, like these are the players of Red Dead Online. This dude is literally waiting outside the gunsmith to kill me. Like, why? Why, like, why is that a thing? I'm just gonna go out this door. This guy's an annoying. And somehow I missed my shotgun literally missed dudes straight annoying and he stole my horse too that's that's red that online for you brothers literally a guy waiting outside the gunsmith to shoot good stuff you gotta love it dudes you gotta love it oh!